Hearn and John, mercenary Ruick character unit. 18 degrees left, 7 degrees styward, 3 degrees to the wind. This one is going to kick him right in the shorts. Hearnstone ground to Archibus John in battle. Hearnstone ground spent his younger days as a traveling alchemist assistant. As he roamed from stronghold to stronghold, learning his mentor's trade, he became increasingly curious about the sciences involved in gunsmithing, cannoneering, and demolition. By his second decade, he had already mastered the manufacture of double-barrel firearms, and his creations earned him a reputation amongst traders and military merchants alike. The stone ground mark is hailed in some parts as a sign of the highest quality in firearms. Mistrustful of messengers, Hearn had always insisted on delivering his wares personally, for a stone ground original can fetch a thousand crowns on the open market, and a select few sell at a much higher price behind closed doors, so Hearn typically kept several bodyguards in his employ. That all changed when he encountered a well-respected organ by the name of John. John was born and raised in rule, where for centuries most of his conclave served as guards and smith hands for the rule folk. Growing up quickly on the trade-rich border of Lael, John became used to the flash and pomp of Lali's merchants. It didn't take long for the adolescent Oregon to make a name for himself on the Black River loading docks, where merchants came to ask for him by name. This slight taste of fame went right to his head, and he soon signed on with a Ruick mercenary group called the Emberhold. While in the group, he practiced his martial arts skills and worked as a cell sword for any who might be in need of his muscle. One day, during the delivery of a pair of Stone Ground Originals to one such employer, John met Hearn Stone Ground himself. A pair of ill-fated brigands picked this time to interrupt the sale. Moving instinctively fast, John snatched up the two bandits and restrained them until the watch arrived. So fast was his reaction and effect of his skill, the surrounding folk broke into applause as the organ handed over the brigands. Hearn offered John a lucrative contract on the spot, and from that day forward, the two were fated to become one of the most famous mercenary teams in all of the Iron Kingdoms. Though it was nearly 14 years ago, John remains bound to Hearn in friendship built through their many shared adventures. The Orgrin has gone far beyond the Call of Duty for his charge by saving Hearn time and again, and the dwarf feels safe under John's watchful eye. Though some less scrupulous employers might have allowed their hired muscle to perish in order to save their own skin, Hearn would not think anything of it, leaping to aid his organ friend without thinking of his own safety. Some years ago, after months of John's grumbling, the duo agreed that small arms manufacture was not the lucrative business that it once had been, and that the true wealth lay in large ordnance. Hearn put his mind and his gunwork skills to the ultimate test and soon unveiled the Stone Ground Barrage Archibus. In effect to market the new creation, Hearn and John took to the road, hiring themselves out to potential customers in order to demonstrate the gun's effectiveness firsthand. The Archibus, a triple barrel contraption that launches three cannonballs at once, is a beautifully crafted weapon so massive that only the bulging muscles of John or Archibus John, as he's been known to be called, can possibly hold it aloft. For his part, Hearn used his shrewd judgment and mathematical skills to help refine the weapon's trajectories. With its weight and kick, the Barrage Archibus is difficult to aim, but the shortcoming is balanced by its fragmenting ammunition. The Archibus is devastating at a respectable range, and John is just as deadly at close-range combat with his mighty axe. Foes who survive the shelling long enough to close in also risk facing Hearn's axe and pistol, neither of which he is reluctant to employ. Hearn Stoneground and Archivist John have argued payment options with Kadoran commandants, joined Signaran officers in after battle victory toasts, and witnessed the pre battle prayers of Minite priests. They have earned a reputation as consummate professionals. Their fees are considered entirely reasonable for those in need of the Iron Kingdom's premier walking artillery platform. Hello fellow War Mahort fans, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe below, and hit that bell notification to let you know when I drop my next video. 
Also, if you're still new to Warmer Hordes, make sure to check out my other Warmer Horde lore videos found in both the description and on screen. Thank you and enjoy your day.